Welcome, it's 8-Hit Gaming. I'm New Zealandish this week. My name is Nick Zahoya. I'm your host. This is a show in Seattle. It's about art, it's about weed, and it's about video games. And oh my gosh, we've got a blast from my past <laughs> as the guest this week. Everybody at home, give it up for our good friend Mackenzie! Hi, Hi Mackenzie. Hi! You look gorgeous tonight. Thank you. What did you say when I came in? What, what did I look like? She's <laughs> kind of channeling a little more Tisha Adams meets Donatella Versace. Take it's that. a nice <laughs> Venn diagram that's yeah. happening. <laughs> That's very sweet. Mackenzie and I know each other from East Side Kids Stage days. It's true. But high we, school. Yeah, high school. You're my first guest that I've have on, had on <laughs> that I met while I was in high school because I met Jinx right after high school. Well, I'm honored. Here we go. This, this is, is very exciting. real. <laughs> this is my roots, people. <laughs> yes. Mackenzie. These are not my roots. In addition, yeah. <laughs> in addition to being uh, my longtime friend. They are a performer of all different varieties, and recently we performed together in Sheetle Juice. Sheetle Juice. I played Alec Baldwin, and Mackenzie played, of course, Gina Davis. <laughs> and you looked wonderful in your day dress. Thank you, my sensible day dress and yeah. those three wigs stacked that on top of each other. That wig was huge. I came Ooh, in. It's own bow. I came in the first day of dress, <laughs> and I saw it sitting there because it was sitting by the couch. Remember, it was that was beautiful. my first look at it, and it was stunning. <laughs> I think it stole the show <laughs> a little it was bit. So much fun. How long have you been working with Peaches? Because she's been, we, we also worked together in Hocus Pocus. We did indeed. That was another good one. Um, Hocum Pocum. Hocum Pocum for legal reasons. <laughs> for legal reasons. <clears throat> Actually, my very first show was about a year ago. I think this month. I just got one of those. Ooh, it's your anniversary. Face, my, my Peaches anniversary. Um, I got a uh, little Facebook, thank you, little memory that was like a year ago today i was putting up something from mr act which had latrice royale oh, latrice we love and, her um, please come on the show baby we know you smoke weed <laughs> that was my very first show and it was actually because my ex at the time was doing the shows with peaches i think she did uh return to gray gardens and then we are no longer together <laughs> So they moved away and they needed somebody to fill the spot. And I'm actually really grateful for it because now this is, I think my, or Cheetle Juice was my fourth or fourth fifth show. show. Wow. Who other than uh, Gina Davis and Cheetle Juice, who are some of your other favorite parts that you've played? Oh my gosh. I have to say Warner Cuntington III in Legally Black with Bob the Drag Queen. Cute. was incredible. Now is that based off the kind of nerdy guy who goes to Harvard with them? That was her uh, really terrible uh, boyfriend who dumps her at the very oh. beginning. And then oh. she ends up going to Harvard to try to get back. Not Luke Wilson, the other boyfriend. Yeah. The, <laughs> Cute. Right? Thank you. I thought so, too. It was, it was fun. It was definitely a stretch to play a uh, masculine uh, douchebag. Because <laughs> I usually just do feminine douchebags. It's nice to go the other way. You know, mix it up. So we used to smoke weed together back in the day. I did. How long have you been a fan of weed? Have there been phases in your life where it's been more or less prevalent? Well, I, I mean, when we were smoking in high school, I always felt like I was, I was so paranoid. I was so young. I barely drank. I rarely smoked weed. It was only at, like, cast parties. Oh, yeah. We would yeah. Ever, like, sneak away to the bathroom or go outside when, like, the parents weren't home. If you were a parent <laughs> and your child is in the theater program at school, uh, they are getting into some weird shit. <laughs> I just want to tell you. <laughs> weed might I don't like normally rat story. out kids, but <laughs> <laughs> I just want you to know. I don't know. In college, I never really did it because it was... I didn't have connections for it or anything. And, of course, I went to Boston. Remember when it was hard to find weed? Oh, my God. <laughs> I went to Boston for college and I really didn't feel like, you know, finding a connection for that. Right. We had kids that definitely smoked in school because I went to uh, performing arts school at the Boston Conservatory. Go Boco. <laughs> Do and, they have uh, a sports team? They, <laughs> <laughs> they should. What's their, what's their mascot? It's their mascot. The thespians. <laughs> the thespians. What do they look like? I think it's like a jester. a jester. And it's like on the side of the football helmet and it's like... Doo -doo -doo. Borderline clown. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I never really got into it. It was when I moved to New York City, it was just this wonderful way of, I mean, you could go out to the bars. I lived right in Hell's Kitchen, so there were gay bars everywhere. There's gay bars in Hell's Kitchen? <laughs> yes. Uh, plenty, plenty, <laughs> it's plenty. It's not the city bars, I know. Which is where... New York's a changing. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was so easy, because, you know, you'd, you'd go go-go dance or something, and so you're, you basically drank for free. Uh -huh. But drinking... While so much fun in, like, your early 20s started to just get increasingly, like, 
worse of a choice for me. I know. It's it's always the next day. Like, once you're 25, that next day is a whole different experience. Months, like, 23, it was just like, this is not... I remember when I was 21, I would literally go drinking in Portland and then drive back at like seven in the morning and work a whole shift at the Buffalo Exchange, (laughs) having not showered or changed my clothes. Oh, that only happened once or twice, but did you get a note? They were like, I didn't get a note. It was Buffalo Exchange. I was the least hungover (laughs) person there. (laughs) Let's get into the game. Let's Let's get into the game. We've played a lot of Mario games on the show. We haven't done Galaxy, either of them. Today we're playing Galaxy 2, which a lot of people would say is the better one. What do you think? (laughs) I was such a big fan of the first one, but that's They added Yoshi, though. (laughs) That's right. They added that Yoshi fan. Yoshi has been my character in Super Smash Bros. Was he he was in Super Smash Bros. Yeah, totally. Super Smash Bros. Mario Kart, anything, anytime. It was always, always my green man Yoshi. (laughs) (laughs) Why don't we start in World 1 somewhere? Absolutely. We can kind of get our our bearings, because we haven't played this game in a long time. This place looks cute, and it's Yoshi. Yoshi Star. I bet there's going to be a Yoshi there that you can ride. (laughs) Fly to this galaxy, girl. Let's do it. So did you play this game uh, when it initially came out, or did you revisit it later? I'm always a little later in life (laughs) when it comes to any sort of a console. I never am, like, the first one to get the Nintendo Switch or anything. Usually I find these goofy things at, like, a... uh... Ooh, you're invincible. Yeah, yeah. No. Oh, let's see. Oh, run, run, run! <laughs> yeah, so I usually find them at, like, garage sales or... Cute. Uh, There's a lot of Wii games at garage sales, Absolutely. So. A lot of good ones, too. And it's it's really been a lot of fun, but I, you know, I'm so late to the party now, like, at GameStop and all those places, they don't have really Wii anything. No, it's I mean, all... It's... Well, Wii U wasn't as big of a success, so they're not even really, really carrying those games. Yeah, well... Compared to the Wii, the Wii was like the biggest selling console ever, pretty much. Is the Switch doing well? The Switch is doing very well. I'm so glad that you brought it up. (laughs) Uh, I actually just read a statistic that it's like the fastest selling console in America history, in American history, or something like that. There's some sort of weird record it just broke. You've been through a lot lately, huh? (sighs) Tell me about it. Is this our therapist? Who is this? (laughs) You should take a break for- don't tell me what to do! All the Wii, Wii games used to be like, hey, every 30 minutes there'd be like some kind of reminder like, hey, go outside and play, you're a kid, right? And it's like, I am almost 30, don't tell me what to do. <laughs> it's like that sweet little check-in that Netflix does for me, like, hey. You still watching Malcolm still, in the Middle? <laughs> right here, right with you. You're here with me right now? Yes, I am, usually. Always. Whenever Netflix asks me, are you still watching Buffy the Vampire Slayer, it's more of a, like, philosophical question. (laughs) Tell me a little more about your Mario memories. Like, when did you first introduce the little plumber into your life? So, I think, staying true to family tradition, my parents brought home the very... I don't want to say first. Was it the first? Yeah, Nintendo that you slid it in. You. Ooh, yeah, the NES. Yes. That Duck Hunt was on and all that fun Duck stuff. Duck Hunt was. And um, oh, here we go. We, I think at like three oh, or four, just started messing around with the controllers, barely having any sort of motor skill to understand right. what I was doing. Those first times you play games, you're dying constantly, and mm-hmm. you just think that's part of it. And I guess it is. <laughs> Isn't that the one too where Zelda? The very first... Yeah, the first Zelda was on there. It was, like, top-down. What's your favorite outfit that Mario wears that gives him different abilities? There's so many good ones. Recently, I really got into... uh, It was the Super Mario Bros. New Super Mario Bros. Mm, Where you can play, like, two-player. Yeah, definitely. So much fun. That's a great game. We've played it on this show with a friend of the show, Whitney Mongit. All right. Oh, I love her. Do you really Um, know her? I... She, I believe is or was dating a friend of mine from work. Cute. Small world. This is Listen to her music. City. She's incredible. Great voice. Shout out, Whitney. Come on Shout back sometime. <laughs> oh, I didn't even answer the question. The penguin outfit. Oh, the penguin outfit is very cute because you can slide on your tummy. Although, I, I don't know, those ice levels were never, ever my jam. Ice levels are always so hard. Oh, that's okay. Did, we might not beat a level this whole show, but that's okay. It's about the journey. So, Mackenzie... We did the show together. We did the the Sheetal Juice together. Mm -hmm. And in between Hocus Pocus and Sheetal Juice, you did uh, a pretty cool thing. (laughs) You met one of my favorite, and I assume your favorite artists. You met Kesha. 
Holy shit. What is, how, I saw it on the Instagram feed and I, I was bugging out. How did that come to be? When I got to know Bob in Legally Black and Hope and Pokem, we would talk about our mutual love of Kesha. And one day he was like, I'm gonna go see her in Kansas City. I ended up meeting Kansas him out there. City, cool. Kansas City, Missouri, of all places. Oh, not even Kansas. Not even Kansas. Kansas City, Mo. And uh, we ended up getting to see her concert, and it oh was God. incredible. And we got to meet her. She's such a sweetheart. She just came over, and of course, she knows Bob. Of course. And <laughs> gave, gave him so much love, and then was so sweet to me, this little nobody. So we ended up getting a photo together. Cute. Which is really cute. This new <laughs> album's really great. Like, what's your favorite song off of Rainbow? Uh, uh, Rain. Oh my God. Is that just... no? I mean, it's been talked about, but it bears repeating. It's incredible. That whistle tone <laughs> is something else. That on repeat constantly. Kesha, I love you, honey. I'm really into uh, Boots. <laughs> I kind of like boots. every song she's written about Boots, because Boots and Boys is good, too. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> What's your next show? What's my next show? Yeah, what are you doing? Last um, thing I saw, I mean, we, were, we did uh, Hocum Pocum and... Uh, what did we just do? Sheetle Juice. Sheetle Juice, <laughs> that's the one. And... Um, <laughs> but previously before that, I saw your comedy. You opened for Bob the Drag Queen. I did open for Bob the Drag Queen. fucking fantastic. Thank I've never you. seen your comedy. I don't know if people at home know this, but I'm kind of a funny guy. <laughs> Hilarious. This guy's fucking great. Um, yeah, that was a great opportunity, and Bob was super sweet. That was actually my first time meeting her, so of course it's a little intimidating going in there and just being like, hey, I'm going to tell like 15 minutes of jokes before you go out there and slay for an hour. I hope you don't mind. But uh, she specifically wanted some like local queer uh, stand-ups. My friend Caitlin, past guest of the show, opened for her in, uh, in Portland. Uh, That's amazing. Portland's funniest per- person, Caitlin Warehouse. Yes. I'll have you know. Let's check her out. Yeah, she's great. But yeah, I've been doing this more than stand-up recently. But you know how it is. Sometimes you focus on your live performances. Sometimes you focus on your video. You just gotta do whatever's cool. inspiring you. <laughs> that was really quick. I got up. No, do it again. Do myself. it again. All right. Get in there. I believe in you. What games do you play other than Mario? Like, what... Uh, have you played any, like, different consoles over the years? Did you I, ever play games with your siblings growing I've up? I've always... Yes. But I've always been a Nintendo girl. All the Me way through. Me too. For sure. I My brother has owned uh, all of the Xboxes. <laughs> He's awesome at it. I just... I can't even get over the controller. Is it too many buttons, or is it the shape of it? <laughs> Probably the shape. I mean, Nintendo's always kind of stayed really true to like a classic setup of buttons totally. that I've just gotten so excited about because I'm actually, I can do things and I can progress in games. And it's so weird because A and B are in the opposite places on Nintendo consoles and Xboxes, and Microsoft just made it yeah. confusing forever for I no reason. Would be, <laughs> I, I, my brother sometimes would be like, Hey, do you want to play Halo? <laughs> and he just knew that it was to only fucking just kick my ass. He just I was just a little sitting back, him. like, well, I don't know how to shoot any of this. Rude. Those first person shooters, I can't comprehend. They're just tough. I would love to just design games sometime. Yeah, do you, did you used to like, uh, in your notebook at school, you ever like draw little Mario levels or whatever? Holy shit, I always drew pretty much like wacky versions of Mario or Peach's Castle mm-hmm. with like a very phallic actually. <laughs> Just those little mushroom cap tops for the Mushroom Kingdom. I but like draw a lot of mazes. Mazes? Yeah. Here we go. Yeah, keep this is your level. And it would be like, figure it out. <laughs> so I'm so, oh, not do that. Don't I think, yeah. That. Oh no, keep going this way and then you'll just go all the way around. Oh, Perfect. God. Hey Mackenzie, do you want to know a, a little secret? Hmm. I think you know the secret. What's the secret? It's oh. time for the quick time event! You should have known better. You should have known. Question one. Which of the following is not a city in Skyrim? Oh, Markath, Kavach, Riften. Kavach. That is correct. That's an oblivion. Very Thank smart. Uh, question two. Donkey Kong, King of Swing for the Game Boy Advance, was controlled entirely with which two buttons? The A and B buttons or the L and R buttons? A and B? No, L and R. Oh, I'm so right. sorry. Um, question three. Which Final Fantasy game has all male protagonists? A, Final Fantasy VII. B, Final My Fantasy favorite. X. C, Final Fantasy XV. 
15. That is correct! Yes. You're racking up those points, girl. so lucky. <laughs> Question four. Which of these Street Fighter characters starred in a live-action movie spinoff in 2009? A. Chun-Li, B. Ryu, C. Blanca. Uh, oof! Uh... Blanca. No, Chun-Li! I'm so sorry, but you're killing it on the ducks. Thank Keep you. it up. Question five. Who is the protagonist of Resident Evil 4? A. Claire Redfield, B. Leon Kennedy, C. Mila Jovovich. I'm gonna say... A. No, I'm sorry, it's B. I would have also accepted C, because she's in the fourth movie. Sure. <laughs> question Fair. six. I thought that was the trick question there. I was like, it no, was a trick. shit. But here we are. <laughs> <laughs> question six. WarioWare Touch originally appeared on which Nintendo console? A, the NES, B, the DS, C, the Wii. WarioWare Touched. The DS. That is correct! Thank Touch you. screen! Using context clues there. <laughs> Question 7. Which Civilization game added espionage as a feature? A. Civilization 2, B. Civilization 4, C. Civilization 6. C. No, I'm sorry, it's 2. Question eight, the final question. What is the name of Lynx's, <laughs> Lynx's horse <laughs> in most Zelda games? A. Wendy, B. Epona, C. Seabiscuit. What is the name of Lynx's horse? <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying Lynx's like the router. <laughs> anyway, what is the name of Lynx's horse? <laughs> uh, will you repeat the answer? A, Wendy, B, Epona, C, C, Biscuit. B. Epona is correct! Love Epona. I do. Epona, if you're watching, girl, come on the show. Did that last one we'll count? We'll give you carrots. I don't know. <laughs> I don't make the rules. I, I just enforce them. <laughs> Am I breaking the rules? It may or may not count, but you know what? It doesn't even matter because no matter how many points you got, we had a wonderful time here on 8 Hit Game. Nick, this has been an honor. Thank you all so much. Everybody, please, uh, why don't you tell the people where to follow you? Because so, you've got Instagram. I do. you got the social medias. I I'm all about it. I too. So on Instagram, you can get me at it's just Mackenzie. That's M-A-C-K-E-N-Z-I-E. Um, and then on the Twitter, which really the only thing I did was retweet Kesha's photo of us. <laughs> Perfect. Um, was a, uh, it's Mackenzie JM. JM. And cool. that's kind of about it. Cool. And yeah. we'll hopefully be seeing you in some future Peaches shows. I we'll hope see so. you anywhere else you want to plug. Um, oh my gosh, you can catch me at Teatros and Zani, uh, Wednesday through Sunday, present and <laughs> having so much fun. Uh, it's, it's a really good time out there. We're in Marymore Park now through uh, oh, April cool. 29th. That's awesome. So yeah, come check out some like outside and cabaret. <laughs> it's in a, a Belgian Spiegel tent, but we'll get to that. Oh, later. cool. Oh my God. <laughs> See, yeah. A circus in a tent. Circus in a tent. Love it. It's wonderful. Oh, that like makes sense though. Of course. Circus, <laughs> tent. They're, it's all adding up now. It is. All right. Well, um, please do follow Mackenzie on social media. Please, please. go see her at Teatro and Zinzani. Z <laughs> that word. That was perfect. That was perfect. I'm very good at words. Um, thank you so much for being on the show. Nick, my pleasure. Are you Give kidding me? me? Mwah. Did it leave a mark? It sure did. Mm. It matches your shirt. Oh, yay. Perfect. <laughs> no, the shirt's black, remember? That's right. Hashtag time book, I think it's the hashtag. Thank you all so yeah, much. Yeah, bye everybody. Me. We love you. Mwah. 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 We'll see you later. You're the best people. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm. <laughs>